Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to cover the Skyrim never-ending loading glitch. So basically what happens is when you've progressed fairly through the game, you click continue and it just loads and loads and loads. It nearly gets anywhere, it's just quite annoying. You get fed up with it, you can't find a result, and you think you just have to um, start again. So there I believe are four or five ways to fix this. Number one which worked for me is just to run it as administrator. So here it is, run it through Steam on PC. Here you rock on the game Steam library, go to properties, local files tab, press local files, and you just follow this here and run the game as administrator. Here you tick this box here, and we apply and OK. This worked for me, but if it doesn't work for you, you can try this one here. Now running Steam itself as administrator. Similar way, you find it, you find the Steam file, most of the time it's here, it could be somewhere else if you've moved it, you'd know where it is if you've moved it. You rock on it, go run as administrator, restart it again. If this doesn't work, you can do this again. Verify the integrity of the game cache. So I've done this for many games, I'm pretty sure all it does is just goes through and finds any corrupted or broken files and just um, removes them. If there's missing files, it replaces them. So what we'll do is go to the properties, local files tab, the same as running the game as administrator, then verifying the integrity of the game cache, um, wait for it to complete, could take a, not too long, it didn't, it only takes too long for me, but it can take a while. And then, check your antivirus anti uh, settings, if it's like AVG or Norton or different things, can it detect it as a threat and block it? Um, if it does, you can consult the website of your chosen antivirus for information, you had to add a program to our exceptions list. I had done this for another game called Trove. It was a problem for me, but it's sorted. Another thing is disabling the Steam overlay. I have had similar problems to this, but never quite this was the reason. So, you know, the Steam settings, click settings, select in the in-game settings tab, um, uncheck the box next to enable Steam community in-game, click OK. Disable the Steam overlay on a specific games only by writing on the game title selecting properties and unchecking enable steam community yep blah blah restarting and launch it again so that's just leaving so disabling steam overlay so that's when you're in a game and you press shift tab um things like that so if any of these five problems didn't help i suggest you email the bethesda support like i did here uh here just by going to the website, clicking help, math, sign in, things like that. Other than that, I hope this helped you. It definitely helped me. So, um, definitely comment if there's any other problems you have. I'll look into them and see if I can help you.